Hey guys, and welcome to another video. So here is my storage update number three. My third, wait, I think it's my third, yeah, pretty sure. Wait, yeah, I think so. <laughs> but yeah, I've done a few storage videos. But anyhow, here I am with my new storage. You'll get to see something pretty cool. I got a case from Chun. He didn't give me the case, I bought it, of course, but he signed it, and I was so happy to get it. It was super duper cool to meet him. But yeah, and there's new bands in there too, which is pretty nice. But we're going to start off with this old case that I've had for forever, as long as I can remember really. I've had it since I was like five, probably. But yeah, and in the previous videos, I couldn't tell you where I got it. But I don't think I got it at Hobby Lobby, but when I was there at Hobby Lobby yesterday, I noticed there was a case with the same exact layout and everything as this one right here. There were two, you know layers that you can put stuff in this top one and then one underneath and there's even this handle you can put stuff in basically the same exact box but I couldn't find it in sparkly blue like I have here it was like a purpley color it, it was yeah it was like a palish purple with maybe a little bit of pale pink in it can't really describe the color that much but anyhow let's unhook this baby so I'm going to show you the top layer first. Like I said, this thing has two layers. So right here, I have some white, just normal white, not glow in the dark. And a random electric blue band that got here that I'm too lazy to put in the bottom layer. But this is like shiny edged white, if you, you may have noticed or not. My camera can't really pick it up right now. But some white bands that you get in packs have like a shiny edge. Probably because they're made with more of like the jelly band material that Rambloom uses. And sometimes you get these packs, sometimes you don't. It's it's random, really. But I'd say I prefer the shiny edges. Some people hate them, but I mean, I like them because they got a nice stretchiness to them, just like jelly bands. They got a jelly texture. They're very similar to mango bands, um, color, like texture-wise, if that makes any sense. And they're also nice and, like, thick. So they do really well for those little knots that I like to make in some of my designs. So there's that. Over here in the opposite compartment, I have a bunch of S-clips, some random thing thingamadoodles that my brain was thinking up. Don't really know what to do with them yet, but again, just little knots. And then I tested out some different colors for Yarn Journey's little rose and bloom charms when I was making another trellis bracelet. I wondered what band to use in the background and neither of these were really my favorite so they're just little test rosebuds. And I also have some Disney-ish charms from back when I got like Disney brand char like rainbow limb bands that came with charms. They were like they were kinda like limited edition band. They weren't that stretchy. They were like even less stretchy than limited edition bands. Which was weird. But I got these cool charms here, so I don't really know what to do with them, but they're cool. Up here, I have some skin tone, um, fleshy color. This is like the color that's not really pink. It's like the color in the skin tone bands that aren't ultra pink. They're like the color right underneath that, if that makes sense. And got some lime green bands here. Got some colored C-clips. There are... There's the green, the dark blue, purple, red, white, and black. Here are some clear extra large C clips. Here are two compartments of Caribbean green bands. I'm starting to run out, darn it. I need to get more. Here's some random non rainbow loom band non rainbow loom brand um, sparkly bands. Up here are some limited edition silvery bands that I got from Rainbow Loom. And underneath are some of the metallic red bands that come in the mixed metallic pack that you can get only at Michael's. Here are my limited edition peach and limited edition burgundy. Not glitzy burgundy, just regular burgundy. Here are some neon oranges. Right here. Here are two compartments of glow-in-the-dark bands. Here are some tie-dye bands that you can only get at Michael's. They're official Rainbow Loom brand, but they're made of like a different material. 
don't want to be offensive to Rainbow Loom, but I'd call them more cheap than their other bands. But I can't really find them that much anymore. And here are some um, mint, gold mint bands and some pearly white bands. They're both limited edition, rounded edges. Sorry if I keep bumping the camera. But yeah, I heard that the gold mint, like the full packs of gold mint, aren't on the website anymore. I haven't checked. I heard this a while ago, but it makes me sad. You can get gold mint, I think you have to get them with pearly white. But anyways, um, underneath here are just some, you know, more bands in the bottom layer, so I'll explain those when we get to them. Here's a pack of S clips for, just in a pack for some reason. Here are the um, pink lemonade, I think they call them, metallic bands. Or pearl bands, I guess you should say. Here are the pink from the mixed metallic pack you can only get at Michael's. And here's some mother of pearl. Whoops. Where'd you go, you little bugger? There you go. Here's some random clips, colored S clips I got from Michael's. Um, random C clips. And these random C clips are like slightly different than normal C clips. Because they came in packs like with these bands and stuff with the different quality bands. So the C clips I'd also call, not trying to be offensive again, less quality than normal C clips. But yeah. And then here's some weird dollar store clip things that I got. And up here, it's just a compartment of random bands. These yellow bands here are like the kind of bands that I got with the Cinderella charms and stuff. I'll show you. Not very stretchy. They got like a silicone-y type buildup. But yeah. There's also some blue ones in here that I also got with the charms. That's not one of them. <laughs> here it is. This one. Again, not the stretchiest. But they are very durable. And there are also some random tie-dye bands in here that are like a Fun Loom brand. My friend had some, and I was like, oh, those are tie-dye. Those are cool. So, yeah. She gave me a few. And anyhow, there's the top layer. Just gonna open this bottom layer up now. Can't believe my case changes so much throughout just, like, a couple months. Here are some random bands back here. Just, like, broken bands, honestly. Here's a bunch of electric blue. Here are a lot of burgundy bands. Burgundy is one of my favorite rainbow loom colors, by the way. I really like it. It goes well with my more earthy tones. Here's some turquoise blue, like you'd find in a mix, mixed solid pack. Here's some neon yellow that you can only find at Michael's. Neon pink that you can only find at Michael's. Electric blue. Two compartments of it, actually. Some... Uh, some teal bands right here, cocoa bands, caramel bands, gold bands, gold metallic, I don't know exactly what you call them, but they're je like jelly bands, gold jelly, that's what they're called, um, clear bands, some mixed metallic bands that I got from Michaels, these are the remaining colors, not including red and pink, and gold, because there's gold and that comes in that kit too. Um, fuchsia or fuchsia. Um, here's some neon green underneath random stuff that I have. Again, ideas that my brain had that just didn't quite work out. Inventing stuff is harder than you think. A lot of times it doesn't work out and you gotta try again. Um, here's some zebra bands. Neon blue bands that you can only find at Michael's. Some mixed solid bands, not including green and turquoise. And here are the mango bands I was talking about earlier. But anyhow, that is my first case. Back the camera up a little bit so I don't get that random stuff in the background. But anyways, there's that. Only one of my cases. Up next, I'm going to show you just the bag of hooks and stuff that I have here. This is just all of my Rainbow Loom apparatus. Got my metal hook in here. I got another metal hook, but it's out because I just made a video. Plastic hook. I only have one plastic hook. Mini loom. Rainbow loom. The nice big loom that I made. Make a bracelet. 
alpha loom, everything in here really is just old loom stuff. Finger loom. I don't think I'll open it up. It's just I've seen all that stuff before in previous videos. And up next is a container. I have little random containers. This has the remainder of my hot pink bands that weren't in my big case earlier. Here's just a bag of alpha loom white bands. These are little tiny baby bands. And then here's my big old pack of mixed alpha loom bands that came with my alpha loom. Of course, underneath all that is just normal hot pink. Another little container. I promise this is not endorsed by this brand. They're really good though, I just want to mention that. But yeah. Moving on. Here are the rest of my white bands. These are the non-shiny edged ones. These have more of like a solid band consistency to them. Like um, the neon orange that I was showing earlier. Like most solid bands have. Like the fuchsia. Basically, most things. Most bands that are solid colored. But yeah. There's that. Not really that interesting, to be honest. Next case. Again, not endorsed by this coffee company. The last container was chocolate. This is coffee. My parents just give me old containers of theirs and I gladly take them. And here are just two mini looms with random stuff on them. I don't know why I put white bands on them. I think these are like yellowed white bands because I like touched them too much. They got all yellowy, so I don't want to use them. And I wouldn't remind myself of that by putting them on here. And then here's another one. I was planning to maybe try the Dotty Dash on a mini loom. And I had this ready for like my tutorial. Because I'd need these things in the tutorial to work with it. And these were just a reminder to use this specific mini loom for the Dotty Dash. But I don't know if I'll make a tutorial for it. It seemed kind of hard to work, to do, like, on a mini loom. Like, at just as hard as it would be on a hook. So I don't know. You guys will have to tell me. And basically, camera's not picking it up, but all that's in here are black bands. Not really that many. I mean, it's probably a pack of 600. Give or take a few, but... Yeah. I don't really get much black anymore. I use mostly white. Next thing, container with random junk in it. Enough said. Oops, my bag fell over. Another sweet riot container. My mom eats a lot of these chocolates. Oh my gosh, why, why am I unintentionally sponsoring so many things? Good gosh. Again, my mom eats a lot of these. These are good mints. They're like ginger mints. And they're organic kosher and all that jazz. Here are all of my remaining Z clips. Ugh, it's depressing. Plus two limited edition bands to use while working with designs. Random white band I think that might have yellowed a little bit or they just threw in here because they can. I don't know. But yeah these are all the Z clips I have left. Makes me sad. Then in this container that the little clip thing was in are all of my limited edition enchanted glitter bands. Just like glittery bands there. Limited edition. Enough said, I guess. But yeah. These are some of my favorite bands. I just wish I could use them more. But yeah. I'm saying but yeah way too many times. Here's a random bag of either broken or off-brand clips and bands that I just don't want anymore. Most of them aren't Rainbow Loom brand. And Rainbow Loom has this thing where they like recycle old bands. And I've been gathering up this bag of broken and bands that I just don't want to send to them. And yeah, so I'm trying to put as many broken bands that I get in this bag so they can recycle them to brand new bands that aren't broken that some happy kid can use in their creations. But yeah. Broken. They never had a chance. Poor bands. Alright, next container is this beads container I decorated with squishy stickers. 
They're very squishy. And other random stickers I had. But not, beads are not the things in here. Oh, that's where my green finger loom is. That needs to go in my apparatus bag. Give me a second. All right. So in here are a variety of things. Changed up a tiny bit since last time. Here's a darker shade of gold from the rounded edged metallic bands that you can get on rainbowloom.com. Here's the just bl jet black bands, I guess you could call. They come with the kit too. Well, with the bag of bands. Here are the silver bands that come in the bag. These don't come in the bag. They're groovy tie-dye bands. Just put them in this compartment because, you know, good amount. Like, there was a good amount of bands that I had left and they all fit in here, so I was like, okay. And last but not least are the few remaining um, round-edged white and some of the lighter shade of gold from the bag of bands. But, yeah. Then up here I just have all the glitter bands. I think these are Michael exclusive. They're like jelly texture. They're all sparkly just with like little silver glitters in them. And then here's some pastel pink. Random daisy that I kind of failed at making. I tried making it from memory. One of Yarn Journey's daisies. And I think I kind of failed it. But oh well. Next up is my pastel red. Pastel yellow, pastel, pastel light, um, light blue green, pastel dark blue green, pastel blue, and pastel purple. That's all that's really in that container. Let's get those out a little more. And last but not least, the one and only case that. June signed. I'm super happy to have this. It says to Claire, happy looming June with his fancy signature with a little, <laughs> I just realized something. The eyes and that black band that just coincidentally happens to be there makes a face. That's kind of funny. Oh, and it kind of looks like he has a mustache too with that little line going through it. Wow, that's a funny coincidence. And then I did this little heart thingy over here on the back. You know how they give you stickers to decorate your box if you get an official Rainbow and brand box? And some of the things are kind of messed up because it's the bottom of the box and it sits and rubs around on stuff. And I was on a trip when I had this in my bag and I took it out a lot. And so naturally a bunch of the stickers got kind of messed up in places, but it's holding up pretty well. And then it says this Rainbow Loom belongs to Claire's Wares, even though I don't have my actual loom in it, just the bands, but whatever. Flip this back over, and let's pull it open. Alright, so these little dividers are movable, so I set up a bunch of little compartments in here. You can see an overview right now. But here's a random bracelet that I was fiddling with. I'm not sure if I fit if I should finish it, but it's kind of like a waffle. It's made in the same type of technique with my as my trellis bracelet with the little fish tails and then intersecting them and connecting them and stuff. So I might finish that. I might not. Here are some UV moon bands. These bands change bright pink when they are exposed to sunlight. Here are the um, UV. Neptune, I think, bands? I don't really know what the exact names are. I know that's Moon, for sure. I know the, that's Moon. But I can't remember this one. These change to like a type of a indigo color in the sun. And then here are the pink ones that just change to a hotter shade of pink. So right now it's like pastel pink. And it would become bright pink in sunlight. And I forgot to mention, again, two black bands to work in, with in some bracelets. I use helper bands to hold on to bands sometimes. And then here are some little compartment dividers that I didn't end up using. Over here are some jelly bands from the Jelly Mixed Pack. You can see I've used up some colors more than others. And I don't have an ultra whole lot yet left, but whatever. And over here are the mixed jelly glow in the dark glow-in-the-dark pastel bands. 
Okay, and I've used a lot of them. Here is the pink color for the skin tone. Here is the less pink but still light colored skin tone. Here is the more tan skin tone and here is the dark brown skin tone. But the reason that I didn't mix this skin tone over here with this one is because I think they changed the pack like the bands that are in the package because they've made it more distinctive like a more distinctive you know difference between these two because everyone was like oh my gosh they're so similar when sorting them so I did find this pack that I got it's probably you know newer found it a lot easier to sort and everything so I just thought I'd mention that and here are the glitter luminescent pinks and glitter luminescent reds. They're kind of sparkly and they glow in the dark. Again, one of my favorite, one of my more favorite packs. And up here, a little bit higher than the glow in the, the, the color changing bands, are the glittery double layered sweets, I guess they still call them, bands that aren't limited edition or silicone they're just like normal jelly bands on the outside but on the inside they're a solid color here's the blue version of them and then here are double layered pink bands I don't exactly remember what they're called but I think they're the tone of pink that's in the carnival band mix and they're just white on the inner layer here's a darker blue shade of that Again, white on the l lower layer. And then in these two containers, you have the silicone glitter white and silicone glitter gold. And then here are the, this whole row at the edge here. These are all the, I don't really remember what Rainbow Loom called them, but they're sort of new. They're bands that are like, that have like different colored glitters in them. So this one has like blue, like dark blue glitters in them. My camera's not picking it up, but they're in there. This one just has normal silver glitters in them. This one has a few different colors. I think it has red and like dark blue in them. Oops. And then this one has again dark blue and red in them. But yeah, this, these colors were all mixed pack, and same with the skin tone bands over here. I just kind of smooshed them in there. Really got a lot in one container, so I could fit everything else in this case. But anyhow, there's that. Camera's probably really shaky right now. Alright, I think that's it. That's all my storage containers as to date. And yeah, it changes a lot. I've smooshed some bands into other containers. I've gotten a new container with more bands. Oh, I got all these bands, except for a few of them, like the glitter gold. These bands, these bands, these bands, and these bands. I didn't get from the Alpharetta Georgia Learning Express, but everything else I did. So yeah, it was really nice to meet Chun at that Learning Express. But yeah, they do have a really wide selection of bands. Just thought I'd give them a shout out in this video. No, they do not sponsor me. But, there's that. Those are all my storage containers. And, yeah. I, I, get, I don't really know how to finish this video. Because I have... Um, I should really just make a blooper reel of like all of my moments on YouTube. Someday. But... Mm, gosh, my brain is really on summer mode right now. Summer mode is way worse than weekend mode. Like I've said in my other videos, I'm just like, whoops, my brain's on weekend mode. I counted wrong, or whoops, I did this thing wrong, or whoops, or whoops. But yeah, summer mode is way worse than weekend mode. Oh, jeez. I should probably just end it now before anything can get worse, so bye.